Look what we got. What? <laughs> I know, it's just crazy. How'd you get it back? The original plan was we were going to make this painting famous by using it in a viral video where we steal a painting from an art museum. At first we were going to like fake steal the painting and now we like actually stole the painting from yep. them. Now that Michael has all this gold spyglass footage of him taking it, we thought maybe we could still do the YouTube video, but instead of us stealing just our ordinary painting from the museum, what if we framed it? to make it seem like we stole a Banksy painting from the museum, which would probably get way more press, and it's just so much more likely that someone would want to buy this painting from us. So Ben had the genius idea of just using a bunch of fake footage and editing it all together, so it showcases that it was Ben's idea that he pitched to me to steal the Banksy painting. It was all made up. We just yeah. made, we made up our entire origin story. I went and I wrote a fake script. Okay, Michael, your first line is gonna be, I don't think it's gonna work, bro. Can I practice? Yeah. <coughs> I don't think it's gonna work, bro. Good. Michael, what is this? I had to cover my fake hair. Wouldn't have made sense if in the origin story I had bleached hair. I put this hoodie on top of it. Yo, what's up, Michael? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? Oh, yo, what's up, Michael? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? Time to change clothes. Different clothes, different day. <laughs> okay, I'm going outside. How are we gonna fake this eBay auction? That was a good take, that was a good take. Well, you should take your shirt off or something. That looks different, that looks good. That, you look like you're in a totally different spot. And then Banksy's gonna be mad at the art museum. Like, nobody's gonna come after us. And Banksy's not going to because they're gonna have to appear in court. So worst case scenario is we find out who Banksy is, and that's still awesome. I think this is like the one situation that we could actually get away with something like this, you know? This is the real video of the fake behind the scenes of the fake video that we want everyone to believe to try to prove to them what we did was fake was real. So obviously there's no way we can sell this as a Banksy painting because- That's fraud, that's it's fraud. illegal. Yeah. You get sued and go to jail for that. We ended up coming up with a three part plan that would hopefully lead us to end up selling the painting in the long run. So there's, there's gonna be three parts to the video. So part one is just people think that we actually stole a Banksy painting. I think that we should go in Pretending to be it's like Banksy. a FaceTime. So the goal of part two is to get into an art show, an exhibit, or maybe even like an art auction, you know, and see if we can like hypothetically sell it. Three, two, one, sold. And right before they say sold, we come out and we go, guys, it's just a prank, bro, just a prank. It wasn't actually Banksy. We were just doing an experiment to see if we could sell a crappy painting, and I guess it worked. In part three, we're actually the artists. Just because they thought it was a Banksy piece, it was worth more, and that's the art that we're trying to show as artists ourselves. And we're actually gonna try to sell the painting for real in part three because someone can see the value in that art and then hopefully we can sell it for like a heck ton of money. Let me know. The next goal was to sell this painting. Everyone knows that the richest people in the United States live in California, California right? Baby. We're going to California! We're going to California! Woo! I guess the goal was to sell this to some rich sucker that lived in California. I don't really know what we were thinking at the time, but that's how we were gonna sell this painting. I've lived in Ohio my entire life, and now, road trip to California, let's go. In our opinion, most art is hung up in a gallery and forgotten about within a few minutes after people look at it. But look at this art. Do you think people are gonna forget about this? And everywhere that you go, the painter goes. And which is awesome, like no art piece has ever done that. So my whole thing is that art is made to be enjoyed. And how can you really enjoy it if it's hanging up in an art gallery and you're only gonna see it for a couple of seconds and forget about it? I really don't think that's what art's about. And that's why with our painting, people are gonna remember our painting. We're doing things with our art that no one would ever do with an expensive painting. But at the end of the day, that's what art's really all about, right? Eventually, we reached our destination, California. You made it to California! What's up, Ben? Dude, what up? We've been showing the Banksy painting to all of our friends on the way to California, and they all believe that it's actually a Banksy painting. The Banksy painting back. Every 
single person we showed our fake story to freaking believed it, and they thought it was crazy. It's the most reckless thing I've ever seen anybody do in my life. That's insane. Can I be in your next heist? Dude, can we go see that? The country in the JK. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, this is bro. This is fake, with dude. It. You watch this whole video. It's a fucking roller coaster. I can't believe they all believe it. I'll have to go along with the, the joke. I don't want to ruin it. So. Yeah, you you totally, dude. We we started something too big. Like we can't we can't go back now. I'm just gonna have to play, keep playing along. That was fucking brilliant. It was amusing at first, but then like pretty fucked up. He has Hitman. Very easily, he could take you out. Wow. He could totally just like have you sniped. How are you like not going to jail? I think you're gonna go to jail. You guys are definitely gonna go to jail. I feel like I might even go to jail for, for <laughs> being here, just touching it. So like, I don't want to be in the video. I don't want to be in your videos. <laughs> I'm pleading ignorance. I never saw the video. Justin, we're witnesses now. I, I feel weird about it. The reality is this is a totally uninsured object with that was abandoned by its owner and like <laughs> hung in a public place and they gave it to you. It's no different than like a pair of glasses, dude. Like honestly, it's valueless. Okay, so this is how I think about it. I typed in, what is the purpose of art? Basically Google says the purpose of art is to make someone feel some type of emotion. I don't know about you guys, this ugly banana is making my friends feel way more emotion than any of these art pieces ever made anyone feel. So if that's the case, my painting should be really valuable now then, right? Is that, that's, that's how it works, right? <laughs> So everyone's excited about this painting, but now what? Like, how do we sell it? So one question that we were asking all of our friends was, hey, what should we do with it? And all of their answers suck. See if you can get a shout out from Banksy's, that would be dope. Put that shit in a porno. You guys should figure out the statute of limitations for the crime that you've committed so that they, they don't fuck you. Go into hiding, chill out. We should definitely give it back. Give it back. So right now I'm heading to an art gallery and I'm gonna just have like a professional, like someone that actually knows something about art tell me like what we should do with it. I'm just gonna put the phone right in there. Okay, let's go. Give me the details on the painting. I walked in. I own the gallery, so. Oh, really? So I go in and I show him the video. He's like pretty entertained, I guess. The funniest part was, is that his biggest skepticism was, I can't imagine that the art museum would just give it to you knowing there was a Banksy painting. I can't imagine that the museum would have thought that they had a Banksy and then given it away. But the funniest thing is like, like that really did happen. Like that is, that part actually happens. That doesn't look like most of the paintings I see him do. And it's not signed and it's not authenticated in terms of anyone being able to say that's a Banksy. So in terms of you being able to sell it, even if it was a Banksy, you got a couple problems. We might be screwed, dude. These art people take their things way more serious than I dude, thought. Dude, I know, dude. So that art gallery didn't work, and now we're kind of just living out of our car, not knowing what to do. This is our house. We weren't about to give up though. We kept going to other art museums, and we just kind of walked in with this painting in my laptop, showed them the video, and hoped they bought it. <laughs> After this speech, we're gonna talk to the main guy. Um, Dude, fail! The guy said no. This is definitely harder than I thought it was gonna be. But that was the life getting rejected from art museums and just trying to stay alive with the little bit of money we had. Here's how you eat like Reckless Ben in California. We got a can of tuna. To get all the juice. We gotta look off the lid. We can't waste anything. This is gonna be our plate. Put the tuna on the bread. Mm. Five star meal. We tried to go to one art gallery every single day and we just kept getting the same response every time which was uh, no. Me and my friend just like acquired this painting and we're trying to like kind of see how much it's worth. Who's the I think it might be Banksy. Like, we're pretty sure. We were hopeful because if we go to every single art gallery in LA, one of them is bound to show our art painting, right? Basically, they said our painting is so valueless, they wouldn't even appraise it for us. I'll give you 10 bucks for it. You're our highest bid so far. After being in California for about a month, I finally found a YouTube prankster who said he wanted to meet up. His name was The Magic Crasher, and he had over 100,000 followers on YouTube, so it was a pretty big deal that we were gonna get to hang out with this guy. We hung out with The Magic Crasher today. We have to show him our video. Dude, so there's no way that they're gonna be able to prove that we're not Banksy, because nobody knows who freaking Banksy is, dude. He was like in complete disbelief. Look at that face.
So who has the painting right now? You check this out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. You guys are fucked. There's no way. What the fuck? I am fucked up in the head right now. I am fucked up in the head. What the fuck did I just walk into? Holy shit. This can't be real. I see the proof, but I'm just sitting here in awesome. You guys are fucked. So I see this ending two ways. One, you're going to jail. <laughs> Two, you're gonna go viral. Message to Michael, the only person who's fucked with this is you, bro. That's it. I ran everything through my head and you're fucked. You're, yeah. It was a successful night. We now have an influencer that was super impressed by what we did. Good night, Rodney. Eventually got to the point where we contacted every single art gallery in LA and none of them wanted anything to do with our painting. We have an FBI investigation on us right now. That's awesome. It was sad because that was the whole reason we moved to LA, but at least I figured out why. The entire time we were promoting this piece as a protest against modern art, so of course no modern art gallery was going to want to show our painting. Eventually, I did find this art gallery called Hive Art that was a graffiti art place and I emailed them asking if they wanted to show a Banksy painting in their art exhibit. He ended up getting back to me saying he was psyched to show the piece. My spy glasses ended up dying so I couldn't record anything that went inside. I just went to that art gallery in downtown LA, dude. I wasn't able to record it because the spy glasses broke. Basically, dude, the guy was psyched. I showed him the video. He loved the video. He thought it was hilarious. He said he's like 100% down to show the the painting in his next art show. The only problem, yeah. his next art show doesn't start until August 3rd. So that's like a month and a half. So in a month we post it, and then we have two weeks to make it go big before this art show. Okay. Right, there we go, we got a timeline. Dude, all right. About a month and a half until our art show. So for the next month and a half, we just went around and did the craziest things with this painting that we could think of. Every single like little thing we did, we thought it like kept adding value to the painting. That definitely increased the value by at least ten thousand dollars. You get Jacob Gavitt's saliva with the purchase of this painting. We're at the top of the ski slope, but we don't have skis. So we're gonna go down on our butts. Let's go! Whoa! 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 Oh my gosh! I'm not gonna give you! Oh! That hurt my butt so bad! Every time we did something with this painting, it had to keep getting crazier and crazier and crazier until eventually it kind of got to the point where what we were doing was just like stupid and dangerous. Oh shit. Yeah! What? Careful! Woo! Let's go, Banksy! Look how far down this is. Don't fall in that hole, Ben. Ah. You made it. Hey, you didn't fall. Yo, guys, guess what? We made it to the top. Check this out. And for all you guys that didn't think we could bring the painting up here, well guess what too? We brought Banksy up, baby! Yeah. I'm terrified. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Banksy! Ow! Oh yeah. That's okay, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Okay.